Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of thanks to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa on his congratulatory cable on the success of Bahrain International Defense Exhibition and Conference BIDIC 2017. His Majesty stated that enhancing the military competency of Bahrain Defense Force, the BDF, will reinforce Bahrain's international status in a pres or preserving homeland security and combating terrorism. His Majesty expressed thanks to His Royal Highness the Premier for his efforts in maintaining the security of Bahrain and wished him abundant health and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the chairman of Al Iman School, Ahmed bin Zayed Al Zayed Al Jalahma, on the occasion of Al Iman School's girls section winning His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum's Arab Reading Challenge. His Majesty congratulated the administrative and educational bodies of the school, praising its educational caters and the participating students for their efforts, which led to this great achievement. His Majesty wished them further progress and success. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the Chairman of Al Iman School, Ahmed bin Zayed Al Jalahma, on the occasion of Al Iman School's girls section winning His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum's Arab Reading Challenge out of 41,000 schools from different Arab countries. His Royal Highness congratulated the administrative and educational bodies of the school, praising its educational caters and the participating students for their efforts, which led to this great achievement. He wished them further progress and success. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Rafa Palace the Board of Directors and Members of the Salmania Rotary Club chaired by Amira Ismail. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister noted the importance of the social and voluntary activities in serving the community and commended the role of NGOs and the opportunities they provide in enhancing communication among all segments of society. His Royal Highness also noted the importance of volunteer work in supporting the government's development efforts and the importance of community partnership as an essential element of any society on the path of development and modernization, highlighting that the values of volunteer work are a vital part of the Bahraini society. His Royal Highness hailed the role of NGOs and their contributions in the field of volunteer work and community service, highlighting Bahrain's success in this field, which reflects the keenness of Bahrainis to serve their community. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister praised the club's achievements that aim to accomplish community development, wishing them further success. For their part, the club chairman and board members expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his support of various volunteer and social activities, affirming that His Royal Highness's support is a motivation for all NGOs to carry out their mission of society development and achieving or achieving coherence between its segments. They also added that the government's interest in the social and voluntary work system and its keenness to achieve community partnership between the public and private sectors reflects the importance of this vital sector in establishing the foundation of a coherent society.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the Minister of Education Dr. Majid bin Ali Al Naimi on the occasion of Al Iman School's girls section winning His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum's Arab Breeding Challenge out of 41,000 schools from different Arab countries. His Royal Highness expressed pride in the people of Bahrain and their skills, abilities and talents, affirming that this outstanding achievement reflects the support the educational sector receives from his Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Crown Prince wished all the affiliates of the educational sector more progress and success. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations to the Chairman of Al Iman School, Ahmed bin Zayed Al Jarahma, on the occasion of Al Iman School's girls section winning His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum's Arab Reading Challenge, which adds to the record of the Kingdom's achievements in various fields. He affirmed that the aim now is to further develop the educational sector to reach the highest levels in the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness conveyed his greetings to the school's administrative and educational bodies, the students and their parents for their outstanding efforts. He noted that the victory of the school is a victory for Bahrain. The Crown Prince, the, the Crown Prince also said the importance of reading and selling the love of reading in children by schools and parents is important. He wished the school success in making more national achievements. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met today at Ghdaybiya Palace with the United Kingdom's Minister of State for the Middle East and North Africa, Alistair Burt. During the meeting, His Royal Highness noted the strategic partnership between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Kingdom is based on strong historical foundations spanning over 200 years. He highlighted that this partnership has facilitated wide-ranging cooperation across a range of sectors, as well as joint positions on various regional issues. The Crown Prince welcomed the minister's view visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain, highlighting that the regular exchange of visits reflects both countries' shared commitment to increasing cooperation and reinforcing bilateral collaboration. He went on to note that the UK's important role in maintaining regional stability, supporting international security and strengthening international cooperation to defeat terrorism and extremism ideologies, His Royal Highness and, and uh, Mr. Bird then reviewed a number of regional and and international issues. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting. Royal Guard Commander His Highness Brigadier General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of thanks to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. In his reply to His Royal Highness's congratulatory cable on Baidek's success, His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that the support of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister of the Bahrain International Defense Exhibition and Conference, Baidek 2017, contributed greatly to ensuring the success of the event and achieving its ultimate goal of confirming the kingdom's status as a country that is advanced in the exhibitions industry and is capable of attracting such events, including defense expos. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his directives to ministries and government departments to ensure the success of the event, to achieve the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, to pay utmost attention to the organizational aspects of the exhibition and the conference to confirm Bahrain's leading status in hosting and organizing such events. His Highness stressed that His Royal Highness's, uh, His Royal Highness the Premier's directives have ensured the success of events hosted by the Kingdom, including BIDEC 2017. 
The commander of the Royal Garden Chairman of the Higher Organizing Committee of the Bahrain International Defense Exhibition and Conference 2017, Baidek, His Highness Brigadier General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attributed the huge success of Baidek to the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser noted that His Majesty's continuous follow-up encouraged the working committee to exert more efforts in order to ensure the organization of the exhibition. He also valued the cooperation of the government led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman. Al Khalifa and his directives to all ministries and governmental authorities to coordinate with the Higher Organizing Committee of Baidik to aid its success. Sheikh Nasser also voiced thanks to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister for his continued support. He went on to commend the support of the Commander-in-Chief of Bahrain Defense Force Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa to the activities of the conference through utilizing all possible BDF resources. His Highness Sheikh Nasser praised the efforts made by the Chairman of the Board of Trustees at the Bahrain Center for Strategic, International and Energy Studies, Dirasat, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, and his coordination with various authorities inside and outside of the kingdom to achieve the goals of the exhibition. Sheikh Nasser affirmed that the kingdom was the focus of several international official and social medias for hosting the conference, which resulted in reinforcing Bahrain's status as a hub for military defense events. events. He then added that Baidik provided an opportunity for military experts to exchange views and ideas regarding the latest security developments, stressing that it is also but it also reflects uh, the political and uh, diplomatic strategy of the coalitions participating in this international event, most prominent of which is the Arab Coalition to Support Legitimacy in Yemen and the Islamic Coalition to Combat Terrorism led by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, as well as the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, the NATO. Sheikh Nasser also welcomed the wide participation of international defense experts, as well as the military and political delegations and visitors, which contributed to revitalizing tourism and commercial sectors in the kingdom. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Athletics Federation and Honorary President of Bahrain's Mixed Martial Arts Federation, the BMMAF, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa received today in Al Wadi Palace the sponsors of Khalid bin Hamad Humanitarian Sports, Cultural and Scientific Initiatives. The meeting was attended by Shura Council Member and the Chairman of the Gulf Petrochemical Industries Company, Dr. Abdurrahman Jawahri, Temkin CEO, Dr. Ibrahim Janahi and Under Secretary General of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports and Bahrain's Olympic Committee, Mr. Abdurrahman Sadiq Askar. In addition to the President of Bahrain's Mixed Martial Arts Federation, Colonel Khalid Abdelaziz Al Khayyat. His Highness Sheikh Khalid praised the outstanding contributions and efforts exerted by the companies and sponsors of the Khalid bin Hamad initiatives in supporting Bahraini youth and sports on a regional and continental level. His Highness Sheikh Khalid also underscored the efforts exerted in supporting initiatives designed for disabled youths who are part and parcel of the components of the Bahraini society. His Highness Sheikh Khalid underlined the Kingdom's organization of Brave Week that includes the fourth edition of the World Championship of Mixed Martial Arts for amateurs to be held in November. He called on everyone to work on the success of the world event that will be held for the first time in Bahrain. His Highness Sheikh Khalid added that Bahrain has achieved a number of successes in this sport under the wise leadership and follow-up of His Majesty King, the King's personal representative for charity work and youth affairs, the President of the Supreme Council of Youth and 
اند سبورتس chairman of the Bahraini Olympic Committee is Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. For his part, Colonel Al Khayyat briefed Sheikh Khalid and the audience on the championship's timeline, noting that Bahrain is the first Arab and Asian country to host the event. For their part, the sponsors expressed their thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Khalid, affirming their keenness on the success of His Highness's initiatives, which target the best interests of the Bahraini youth in the different fields. The first military vehicle designed by the commander of the Royal Guard Special Forces, His Highness Major General Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, has been revealed. Al Dib, as it has been called, was announced in Bahrain International Defense Exhibition and Conference, which was held under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The new vehicle will be used by the members of the Royal Guard Special Forces. Al Dib has a 4x4 transmission system and can reach a speed of 140 kilometers per hour. Sheikh Khalid expressed pride in the new Dib, which he said could lead towards military industrialization and would enhance national combat and military military capabilities. He expressed thanks and appreciation to the commander of the Royal Guard, His Highness Brigadier General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, for his constant support and follow-up on the project. Sheikh Khalid added that the new project will promote the kingdom as a militarily advanced country. He also expressed thanks to the officers and members of the Royal Guard Special Force who have worked with His Highness to implement the project.
Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa received at his office in Ghibia Palace the United Kingdom's Minister of State for the Middle East and North Africa, Alistair Burt. On the occasion of his visit to attend the meeting of the Bahraini UK Work Group, Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak welcomed Ambassador Burt to hailing the deep rooted historic bilateral relations. He noted the two countries' keenness on developing relations through continuous cooperation and coordination which would serve both countries' common interests and maintain the region's security and stability. The Deputy Prime Minister and Ambassador Burt agreed on exchanging expertise in the field of education. The meeting was attended by the Ambassador of the UK to Bahrain, Simon Martin, and the Minister's accompanying delegation. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met today with the UK Minister for Middle East and North Africa, Mr. Alistair Burt. Sheikh Khalid welcomed Mr. Burt, affirming the depth of the Bahraini UK relations, noting the two leaderships' keenness on enhancing bilateral cooperation and continuing joint coordination. Sheikh Khalid hailed the UK's role in combating terrorism and in cooperating with the region's countries to establish safety and security in the world. For his part, Mr. Bird affirmed the UK's keenness to develop its relations with the Kingdom of Bahrain in various fields and to work together to establish peace and security in the region, wishing Bahrain further development and prosperity. The Bahraini British Joint Working Group held its meeting chaired by the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Bahraini side and Mr. Alistair Bird for the British side. During the meeting, the course of bilateral relations was reviewed and ways to bolster them in all fields to meet the aspirations of both countries and their people. Both parties stressed the importance of the meeting to promote areas of mutual cooperation and exchange of experience that support development and progress. The meeting also discussed the latest regional and international developments and ways to further enhance coordination to face the current challenges. The meeting was attended by Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa, Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Engineer Islam bin Abdullah Khalaf, Public Security Chief Major General Tariq Al Hassan, and a number of ministries and governmental institutions' representatives. The delegation of the Kingdom of Bahrain schools returned to the country after participating in the finals of the Arab Reading Challenge, which was patronized by the Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. The delegation was received at Bahrain's International Airport by the Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, Chairman of Iman Schools, Ahmed bin Zayed Al Zayed Al Jalahma, the Ministry of Education's Under Secretary of Resources and Services, Dr. Mohammed Mbarak Jum'a, and a number of officials and uh, principles of participating schools. He also noted the support of the leadership to education which resulted in developing this important sector. The Minister of Education expressed thanks and appreciation for the efforts exerted by the various sectors of the ministry and from public and private schools which encouraged Bahrain students to read, eventually leading or leading making this achievement. The minister congratulated Al Iman Private School for winning the Arab Reading Challenge 2017 among 41,000 schools from Arab countries, voicing thanks to the school staff, students, and their parents. The Ministry of Interior said today in a statement that the Investigation and Criminal Evidence General Directorate apprehended a professional Asian gang that stole 70,000 Bahraini dinars worth of merchandise. The stolen items included gold, jewelry, valuable watches, as well as money. The Directorate managed to capture the gang, which compromised or comprised of 14 individuals with an Asian nationality. The burglars were involved in six thefts at home around the kingdom. The gang used the selling of alcohol and prostitution as a cover-up for the robberies. The gang members used a number of tools and methods to commit the robberies without damaging or breaking doors and windows, which prompted the security team to intensify the investigation efforts by analyzing the footage retrieved from CCTV, including the CCTV footage from Bahrain's international airport. 
Similarities were found in the methods of a robber who was caught on surveillance cameras, which led to the directorate to the other gang members. The burglars were then identified and a court order was obtained to catch the criminals. The directorate has begun the necessary legal measures to refer those arrested to the public prosecution.